Welcome to another edition of Beer for Breakfast ABV from the brand new location of Three Punk Ales in Chula Vista, everyone. Yay. Great to see you guys. Yeah. It's great to be here. Great to bring 91X to get a little south in our mouth, so to speak. Joining me just to my left, Steven Garcia, punk numero uno, everyone. Hello. Good Hello. to Hello. see you, Steven. Welcome. Thank you for coming. John Marshall is here as well, who also joined us last time on the radio edition. Same with uh, Kevin Lewis, who was Cheers. also on the radio edition last year. And also joining us, Ivan Molinado, formerly uh, Fall Brewing and also uh, Belching Beaver. Good to have you on board and welcome. Nice to have you here today. Welcome nice. to the family, buddy. <laughs> Happy to be here. Was that the official welcome? Is that I think so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Producer I Danielle is here, everyone. Wait a second, I'm gonna say that again. Producer Danielle is here, everyone. <laughs> and Paul Segura from the Carl Strauss Brewing Company, everyone. Shut the yeah. Middle. All right, so first of all, congratulations Thank you. On, Thank you. Uh, on getting this open. Congratulations on being a new uh, Padre as well. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, That's thank great you. news. Too many things going on. Yeah, it's all this. Uh, it rains of pours, right? It's all positive. It's all good. Yeah. So uh, tell me about how uh, you guys wound up getting this location. This is amazing. It was a. <laughs> took a while to get this going. We started out in Santee. We uh, were offered this this cool ass spot here probably February of 2016. Okay. Uh, it took a couple months to get everything the way we wanted to get it done and signed our lease in April. So, I live three blocks from here, grew up in the area. So you came here as a kid. Yeah, right? we used to go to the Vogue to watch movies. We used to go to the Berlin Wall to buy whatever was there. Band class shirts, Doc Martens. We used to go to La Bella. So it was kind of like full circle coming back here into the neighborhood. One of those things where you grow up saying, oh, I want to open a, I want to open a business somewhere on Third Avenue. Right. It actually happened. So, wow. So that was cool. That was one of the cooler things. You inherited the wall. Which yes. Is pretty astonishing. Yeah. we. We put a lot of uh, effort into creating this wall and found an artist that could actually put it on paper for us and he, he kicked yeah. ass. I mean, yeah, this is awesome. Well, and I feel like, didn't you tell me when I was here that the Highlander sign is the original sign that was here from the business before, so this is a historical landmark in Chula Vista, right? Yeah, so the Highlander was built in the 19, late 1930s. Uh, it was an upscale men's warehouse, so it was like a suit location where you can get tailored up and handle your everyday attire but on that fancy level. So the city was very insistent that we kept it prominent and somewhere in the brewery. We threw a couple ideas around, but ultimately we felt that it looked better on the wall. <laughs> threw a little anarchy sign on it. <laughs> threw a little respect on it now, now, now it's good. It's part, it's part of the brewery. It's genius on top of heritage. You no, know, it's, it's a collective thing. It works out. <laughs> and also uh, you have uh, five beers on tap here right now. Currently we have five beers on tap with two more. Actually, we're going to have five more in the tank by the end of the week. Yeah, I gather the uh, uh, the Oktoberfest beer is... Uh... Yes, we have an Oktoberfest uh, that will come out late September. We have a uh, new IPA coming out at the end of the week. Uh, we'll be doing the uh, La Flama Blanca again and okay. probably something else with a couple more tanks open. And speaking of the La Flama Blanca, that's the first beer we're going to try. And this is a, a pale Mexican lager. We've been having a lot of Mexican lagers lately, haven't we, Daniel? I know. Well, so actually, Paul, Paul yes. is this something that is like a new, is this like San Diego's new beer that everyone's doing? Yeah, is this I think a everybody realizes that like, you know, it's a good summertime beer and San Diego's summertime like year round. And why not? You know, everybody loves Mexican lagers. Everybody's been to Mexico on surf trips or whatever. Um, but San Diegans love their hops, so to put a little bit more hops in them, making them a little more flavorful, like craft beer versions of them, is pretty fun. It's the hot thing right now. Plus, I'm a pale Mexican. The <laughs> <laughs> pale is what I know. Oh, that is true. Well, then let's you drink to that. You are too, Ivan. You are too. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers, This buddy. is Beaner approved. Beaner approved. <laughs> There we well, go. me and John grew up in Chula Vista, so that kind of makes us. I guess honorary. Mexicans honorary, too, right? Yeah. Mexicans. Anita. Real, real. Albino Mexicans. I'll take that, I guess. We tried this beer Whatever. last year on uh, the radio version of Beer for Breakfast. I know we tried the IPA. Not hole. this one. No, yes. I, yeah. I know we tried the IPA hole. I don't know if we had this or not. Nope. No, is this new since this last is new year? Since then. Mm, uh, it's really, really tasty. Do you tasty. remember seeking it in there? Uh, we, had it. we had it at Bacon <laughs> Fest last year. Did we? So maybe on the I mean, on the show. I know we had the IPA hole for Thorn Street. Had to. Uh, well, we're going to try the IPA yeah. hole here um, in a couple of minutes. But Paul, your your thoughts on this? Uh, I like Mexican this beer. Lager? It's uh, it's got lots of flavor for those who want flavor from beer. 
but it's also sort of pedestrian enough for, you know, the newbie who might walk in and say, give me something light and refreshing and, you know. And that's what we get on a daily basis. Yeah. He says, I'm not big on craft beer. I need something that I'm yeah. used to. Right. He said, well, what are you used to? He said, well, I drink Modelo. I drink Pacifico. Right. I said, ah, yeah. all right, say yeah. no more. We've got a Mexican Numerous times lager. a day, that's yeah. the that's And actually, what this goes is actually down. the one that sells the most currently. Yeah. In the first three weeks we've been open, we've been running. Isn't through. it like a like an especial with a little more flavor? A little bit yeah. more flavor, yeah. yeah. Is it challenging to brew beers like this? A little bit, I guess. A little bit. Um, it was not even thinking where we were going to be. It was just one of the beers that we wanted to come out with first. This one, and then uh, we'll be doing... After we get one more round of that one backed up in the tanks, we're going to do an amber version. Okay. Kind of like my favorite. I like the like the Dos Equis amber. Oh, great. Cool. What's a sign of a good brewer if you can make a beer like this mm -hmm. and make it taste the same over and over, day yep. after day, year after Consistency year? Consistency is key. Yeah. Yes, it is. And the clarity is yeah. right through that guy. That pinky, though. You that guys pinky. do lagers. That pinky, though. It has to be up. Come we on. punk loggers. <laughs> <laughs> we punk out loggers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the next beer that we're going to sample is one that we tried last year on the radio edition of Beer for Breakfast, and that's the uh, Three Punk Ales IPA Hole. Yes. Genius name then, genius name now, uh, West Coast style IPA, 6.5% uh, ABV. Yes. It's right in the pocket. Yes, right in the pocket. It was yes, first Abby. brewed oh. by Thorn Street, and this is our version. Thank you, Mr. Paul. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Can you two up? Beers, beers, beers. <laughs> You guys don't have any? Oh. Now, where'd your guys' full beers go? Oh. Here Ed comes. Edmund's on it. Here comes Edmund. Fire uh, that down here. Here's yours, Ivan. Yeah. There he is. Here comes Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> little, 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 little. He just has small hands. <laughs> okay, who still needs one? Oh, there we go. All right. Okay. All right, we got an extra one. Yeah, you do. We have an extra uh -oh. one. All right, yes, Danielle, you're going to have to Oh, no. Uh, this man over here. Give it oh, to oh, Oscar. He has to go back to work. Can he run a board and... Transporting. All right. Look at him. He's like... <laughs> I don't want to. They can't here. drop on any of that. <laughs> it's okay. We so take I get good some, care of the equipment. I get some pine and some tropical fruit out of this. What hop varieties are, are in this? The hop variety is um, Cascade, Citra, and uh, Mosaic. Well, that explains it. Yep. Yes. yes. Right there. Good job on this. The aromas. Yeah. This Slamming. is. This just smells great. And I mean, as a. As a San Diego brewery, and you're obliged to have, you know, some kind of like in-house IPA, IPA like you, and you know. IPAs, and yeah. IPAs, <laughs> and more IPAs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the flavor comes across more tropical. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. And each sip leaves you like with a different flavor. And get some blueberry or something in there too, right, Danielle? Ooh. You're giving me some wiggle. So much, with all so this. much blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> so much blueberry that that's all I taste. <laughs> well, You're cheers, Violet. Violet. Cheers. 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 When Paul cheers, describes man. a beer, he yeah. makes it wiggle. Cheers. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So the name, Three Punk. Three Punk Ales. Correct. Now, obviously, it comes from three individuals involved, yeah. but yeah. you know, there's also play into like a heritage of punk rock in Chula Vista. Specifically John and myself, I mean, we grew up playing bands. We grew up, <laughs> we were started, I think we were 15 or 16 playing bands. 15. Yeah, and then it developed into something and we got to play with some cool old school hardcore, I don't know how that happened, but it, we got to play with bands like um, Subhumans and UK Subs and like GBH and we were just Teenagers. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, playing like side stage so much. Every guy there. should have a chance to go oh, and do that. I don't know how it happened, but I think it was our guitarist, JD, who hooked yeah. all of these shows up. But yeah. So that's where it originated mm -hmm. from. And when we sat down four or five years ago, well, what are we going to name this thing? John's dad came up and said, hey, why don't you guys name it Three Punk Ale? Show the tattoo. <laughs> show I remember the tattoo. that day. I won't get into it, but yeah, it was an epic day. <laughs> it was an epic day. <laughs> we, threw, we threw some uh, weird ass names around, but this yeah. was tough. <laughs> but your dad is so rad. Your dad yeah, is so yeah, rad. Yeah, yeah. I guys... know Paul met my dad finally. Yeah, you met my yeah, dad too? Yeah, that time you guys came Dad, you're rad. <laughs> Super rad dad. <laughs> All, right. All these bald dudes get along. <laughs> I've known his dad for a long time as well. Yeah. He's a good dude. He's so some of the names that you guys are kicking around, can you apply those to beer later on? Did you have to go and Google them and see if someone else, someone else had sort of We've appropriated the name or something? We've been with a lot of the names that we've thrown around. Not many people want our names that we've thrown around. <laughs> <laughs> I know Ivan's not a big fan of some of the names that we have, but... Do you go to like Urban Dictionary for the names of your beers? We do a lot of herbal research on our own. Uh, <laughs> we sit in the circle, we drink, and... I mean, I just, we can't take credit for this one. This don't one know was, anything uh, about that, that at night. Was, uh, no, we can. 
Eric. That was Eric. Yeah, Eric from Thorn Street. He, yeah, uh, it was like we kind of. That was you. That's a great name. It was a great name. That's classic. Yeah, so we did that. But like morning after pills, nobody wants to remember <laughs> beer. Yeah. You know, like uh, Putin on the Riz. Putin on the Riz. Oh, yeah, we're getting to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. later. I mean, my, beer. my personal favorite is the Anchor Baby Porter. Nobody <laughs> wants to name a Porter an Anchor Baby, but, but you know, Let's see, A B P. It yeah. makes a little short thing out of that. All right, well. In lieu of having any Anchor Baby Porter today, we are going to try uh, the final beer that we're going to have, and that is the Putin on the Riz. Yes. Boy, that name just has so much more significance now, now than it did yeah, last year, sure. right? Ooh. Well, so, so it, I'm I guessing it's a Russian Imperial Stout. Yes. I'm sorry, Daniel. Oh, no. I was just Perfect. curious cool. because about a year ago. I don't, I don't ago, know who those are, but uh, take that. Uh, I'm good. Uh, about a year ago, we were waiting oh, very anxiously for you guys to open up and you're open up, but now I'm also seeing other breweries that are popping up right now on 3rd Avenue. So what's, what's going on down here? What is, what's going on in Chula Vista that the rest of the city doesn't seem to know about? Well, we tease them with a little <laughs> south in their mouth, and then we actually put the whole south in their mouth, and now Groundfall is here, and tasting rooms are coming, so. We need food. We need we need restaurants. Well, Balboa so, Burger's Balboa opening, is isn't it? Oh. There's a cool little brunch spot that just opened called the, the Temp. Awesome. I mean, no, I, I'm proud to be on Third Avenue. We, Ivan lives close by. I live close by. We're literally walking distance here. We yesterday we went. Where do we go? We went to Silver Dollar after work to have yeah. a beer, had a shot. I mean, we're 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 embedding ourselves into this community. I remember <laughs> you saying last year on the radio version uh, that you guys had a place figured out on Third Avenue. I was like, you yeah. know, people are gonna start building around you guys. That's huge. That was the plan. I mean, it's a collective. We yeah. got Tony Rasso's place right here. Mm -hmm. uh, Probably September opening up, 40 taps, beer, wine, a lot of beer that a lot of people don't have. That's a cool thing. Yeah. He's going to bring something to the South Bay that Super excited has for never that. been oh, yeah. here. Something to, something to San Diego that hasn't been here. Just a Chula Vista, finally coming around, man. So would you say that this is like the next up and coming like bar, brewery part of town? Like, is this like the next place to come to, to come down and like get really good beer? So and if you're really looking to put some south in the mouth, you guys are like the tip? <laughs> We're the tip, yeah. Okay. The, um. the, point, the point is like, you, ha you have North County, you have Beer Mar, there's, and you have North nothing. Park. There's, yeah. there's, there's nothing, nothing down, down here. Down here. Yeah. And I'm not gonna go up to, to North County for one brewery. So yeah. I'm glad there's a lot of places coming around down here. And I mean, the idea was always yeah. a destination spot. Yep. Right. Yeah. It's cool to have one place, but nobody's going to stick around for one place. Right. So now we have Three Fun Kales. We have Chula Vista Brewery. We have Marcy Nomada coming up. Groundswell's Third across Avenue the street. Third Avenue Alehouse. Oh, yeah. Third Avenue Alehouse. Bay Bridge Bro, Brewing Company. Bay yep. Bridge down the street. Yep, so, I mean, absolutely. it's become an area where, oh, shit, Mexicans do drink craft right. beer. So you can Filipinos come down on do like drink a Saturday beer. morning and hit each place yeah. and have like, you know, a few beers at each place yeah. and Uber home, of course. Ah, or walk. Oh, you'd be surprised because a lot of the people here, they walk here. Most, so most of the people awesome. that call the patrons, they live in the community and everyone's really appreciative. They, and it's weird the way they say it, thank you for taking the chance on us. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, no, this is where we're from. So it's not really taking it. Right. Thank you for coming out and showing us that we made the right decision. Chula Vista is also the second biggest municipality in San Diego County. I mean, yeah. uh, there's probably a couple of beer drinkers in this town, there's a few. right? You'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's yeah. a couple. <laughs> yeah, and then and far as There's making, Ivan, there's me. <laughs> making a Russian Imperial Stout, I mean, uh, uh, other than putting small pieces of Russians in there, what's behind that? <laughs> um, we wanted to come out with our beer list, not just... Uh, mail. It's San Diego, you got what, 147, 152 breweries. So we right. wanted to come out with the first five beers, come out swinging for the fences. Um, not just trying to come out with like a blonde, amber, pale, IPA, stout. So we went a little <laughs> bit off the reservation. The Russian Imperial was one that me and John made. And it was just kind of like, just not your average stout, but just come out with a nice big Russian and then we can smooth into some more, um, do some Mexican chocolate stouts, do some other stuff, milk stouts like that, and kind of ease into this now. Well, and the name again, Pure Genius, and it just got more genius over the last year. I go, Steve. I'm, I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> when it comes to beer names, beer names. <laughs> Dude, this is a gnarly beer. Does this yeah. particular one have coffee in it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? No. <laughs> this, <laughs> no, really? Yeah. This one does. This is the oh, coffee one. Oh, okay. And this is 9.5% ABV, so it's... And even on Nitro, it's very subtle. It's, yeah, it hides yeah. It, but it, you know it's there. It's, it's lingering. You know? <laughs> it's a, yeah, this will shoot you. Well, absolutely. So does the coffee come from across the street? Absolutely. It comes Sorry. from the nest, and they cool. get it from industrial grinds in LA. 
So we have an agreement with them that whenever we brew this beer, they'll just bring some over for us and we go ahead and infuse nice. it into ourselves. Isn't that who, uh, when we had Beachwood on Julian, isn't that who he said they get their coffee so. from yeah. also up there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Keeping Julian it Beachwood's local. got a really good coffee stout as well. Tasty. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's a very tasty this beer. This one's there. delicious, man. Well, I'm going to Thank invite you. a little bit of applause and uh, let's give it up for Chula Vista for just a moment here. Yes. Everyone. Yeah. I'm in. Talk about Chula the brewery Vista. Brewery this entire city has been like waiting to open for us. Yeah. So like no, there was such a <laughs> Oh, us. us. <laughs> <laughs> there was such an anticipation for Three Punk Ales to open and it's just like so awesome that you guys have your doors open and congratulations. Thank you. And Thank you, you guys are looking up to your name in the best way the possible. We'll so see. do what we can. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you mentioned Novo. Novo was the first Chula Vista brewery to win a major yeah. medal in a Multiple. major competition. Yeah. This year, we're expecting big things from you guys. We're not even joining any competition. Small yeah. brewery of the year. <laughs> uh, come on. We didn't even want to open. We just wanted to market. <laughs> we got to leave it up to Kevin and, and John and Ivan, whatever GABF they want. GABF next year. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, like right. we'll, we'll, we'll do the full rounds. GABF, World Beer Cup, the, the Del Mar Fair. State Fair, LA, LA Fair, yeah. Damn, I, I guess kind of do the basic routine. <laughs> we just wanted to get open and get beer out, yeah. and yeah. then now we can kind of perfect and break down the beers and kind of get it to where we want it, and then be off and running. Like building hype is one thing, but building hype to the point where it's like, are these fuckers ever gonna open? It's like <laughs> so it kind of got to that point. <laughs> we're like shit, you know. So we rushed it as much as we could, but we didn't want to rush the beers. Rush oh, so these guys did it. Rush and rush and. So we didn't really want to, you know. Well, you guys opened with a bang and your beers are solid. So, I, you know, that's enough, right? Are we worth the wait? Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and any medals you win would be like bonus. Medals. We don't need no stinking medals. You don't. <laughs> that's not very punk rock if you don't no, want a medal. I don't want a medal. <laughs> I just like metal. 259 3rd Avenue in downtown old school Chula Vista. Come on by and check out Three Punk Ales. Come by and see these guys. Try some of the beers. Thank you once again to uh, the whole team here, Stephen Garcia, John Marshall, Kevin Lewis, and Ivan Molinato. And uh, well done, you guys. And uh, yeah. congratulations on the opening. Now we're gonna try some different uh, Three Punk Ales beers on the radio edition of Beer for Breakfast. That'll be coming up Friday mornings at 8.45. And you can always check out new editions of Beer for Breakfast ABV when we roll those out face on Facebook Live. Tuesday evenings on the 91X Facebook page. Uh, I went, again, thank you guys, Three Punk Gales. Great to see you guys. Producer Danielle, everyone. Woo! Oscar, a little bit louder, please. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the movie. And Paul Segura from the Carl Strasburg Company, everyone. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Beer for I breakfast. I like him at Manhattan. 91X.com. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Plus, all respect. I love you too, man.